Sheesh! Oh, that was subsection harmony B by Beethoven's Ninth. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love it. I want more of it. It's actually about sodomy, so it's a little weird of you. Still want more of it. Dig it down, show. Welcome to the. Hey, we're um, reacting to the craziest. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, welcome to the Dig Dance Show. Today we are looking at uh, the worst lyrics probably ever written. Hopefully. <laughs> and we're going to react to them, and it should be fun. These, yeah. are, these are all funny, co cringe. Collected by the boy. It was me. So, me. this is fresh for me. He's seen them. Yeah, but they're, so, st they're still pretty funny. They're still funny. Um, yeah, so it goes either way of like, some of them are just funny, but most of them are just like, wow, that was written. Yeah. Yikes. Okay, so let's start out. With uh, Elijah Jackson, he says, Not really bad, but in the song Ask Me Anything by The Strokes, he says, Don't be a coconut. God is trying to talk to you. <laughs> or, <laughs> this is a good part. Or anything by John Mess from Dance Gavin Dance. This is the lyric. Remember when you tried to kiss her, but she was gay and liked your sister? <laughs> I do remember that. I remember. <laughs> I do remember that. My sister's hot. Ryan Rainwater says, uh, this is a Metallica collab with Lou Reed, and the l lyric is, I would cut my legs and tits off when I think of Boris Karloff and Kins Kinski. Uh, in the dark of the moon, it made me dream of Nosferatu. <laughs> Trapped on the aisle of Dr. Moreau, oh, wouldn't it be lovely? My favorite part <laughs> is that he just specifically wants his legs and tits cut off. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's it. I would cut my legs and tits. I want my hands. I want my arms. I want my ears. My nose. My eyelids. I want my toes. I do want my feet back. No, he doesn't too. want. He doesn't want his toes. He doesn't care about his toes. Give my feet back. You can have my legs. I want my feet. Shed a few pounds. I cut my my legs and tits off. Yeah, like it's a saw trap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there's just four references to people. When I think of Boris Karloff <laughs> and Kinski. I don't. I don't. I can't think of too many set of lyrics that are just the stanzas are referencing people that exist. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's some deeper meta here. We're just not tapping into. I don't know. Yeah, dude. All I dream about is Nosferatu. That's I all I can know. say. I want to fuck that sweaty vamp. Uh, maybe Boris Karloff. I want to fuck that sweaty vamp. Dusty Ladroga says, New Kids on the Block had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. And I think it's fly when girls fly by for the summer. Going to love her. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty bad. If a girl flies over here uh, during the summer, I will love her. <laughs> if if uh, girl, and you know, I've been here quoted saying so. If that girl is playing, if her two feet are on the ground, I want none of it. Robert Thalboy says, And I said, what about breakfast at Tiffany's? She said, I think I remember the film. And as I recall, I think we both kind of liked it. And I said, well, that's one thing we've got. <laughs> this is literally a text conversation. <laughs> That this man said, no, this is directly <laughs> going into this song. I'm not changing it. I'm not <laughs> paraphrasing anything. It's deep. It's not a metaphor. It is exactly what she said. Keldon Henslow, or Henslow, where did I get the H? Ken, <laughs> Keldon. I'm not even going to say your name now. Her playing the piano sounded like a thirsty camel in a lake. <laughs> he has to get a new piano. He walks up. <laughs> He'll put this camel here! Sebastian says, Lil Dicky's got some hilariously bad bars, like the one in the song Cocaine. Says, Like as a child, I was so dismissive of the baked potato, till I tried that shit. Now the baked potato is my favorite kind of potato. Bars! B -b 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 -bars. bars! Honestly, bars! Hey, Lil man. Dicky's hard as shit! You, hey, what rhymes with baked potato? I bars! Know, you could say potato three more times. <laughs> Stygian Gossier says, The worst lyrics I heard were by a band named Snack with the song, Rhythm is a Dancer, and it goes, I'm serious as cancer when I say, Rhythm is a Dancer. Everybody, I'm serious as cancer. Come yeah, on. yeah, I know you can't stand up right now because you're in the wheelchair, get up here. That's come how on, serious we are. That's how come on. Oh man, yeah, what a horrible parallel to draw. What well, the fuck? I, I'm being dead ass. Bro, when I say the rhythm's a dancer, that That's shit terrible. be busting. That shit is fast. <laughs> Zach Bennington hit us with the young thug. Dude, this is bad. Really said, pussy tighter than a baby. Dude, he wrote those lyrics. <laughs> he really wrote pussy.
pussy tighter than a baby. Jesus. I'm not familiar with that line in the boss baby. I'm not familiar with the tightness of a baby, so I can't. <laughs> Don't ever let me catch you saying that again. I'm not familiar. <laughs> Just say familiar. I'm the, not familiar. <laughs> the tightness of a baby. With the, not familiar. <laughs> So I don't relate to none of this. Papa does not approve. He, he does he, know. He he's out. Himself. He he's said, out. Stop talking about this. This is too much. Or this is a deep metaphor because this is just like a Catholic priest outfit. He's like, I can contest. <laughs> <laughs> they found me. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I gotta go order the Yeah, bad, bad bar. That's bad. a really bad lyric. <laughs> bad bar. bar. Jesse uh, Baggio says, I hate my life by theory of a dead man. Yo, dude, yeah, I don't even remember this lyric, but this is pretty bad. Says, I hate that I can't tell when a girl's underage, and how when I tell her she's a nice piece of ass, then her daddy punches me in the face. That's in a hit. That's in a hit song, Jared. Man, I just hate it when I can't tell if a girl is oh. underage. And then when I find out she is underage and I continue to hit on her, her daddy will get all mad at me. What's that about? So let me fuck your underage daughter. <laughs> it's not that way. It's not a big deal. He would be terrible as someone to ID check people. <laughs> really? He's like, what are you, like 15? Yeah, he would have no idea. He would just be like... Are you, f you're either 55 or like 12, I can't yeah, really, can't hear you. I, yeah, yeah you're good, come on, <laughs> not, I, give up. I hate that I kill, that's, <laughs> I hate it when that happens, this man hates it so much, he didn't just write it down, he put it in the song, he sang about it, he made it, he hates it so much, that he the, can't well, tell, and this, dude, yeah, and the song's called I Hate My Life Too, so is that like the premise of the song is like, he just got home from like, oh man, his dad punched me. Yeah, I know, right? He's, He's like, like this fucking 38 year old man. Just like. I just want to see his baby was tight. Fucking like, dead. Oh, stop. <laughs> it's fuck. Gavin Steinlight says, let that little rascal nibble on my asshole. <laughs> like Eminem. Uh, bars. Sometimes you just need that little nibble on the little. I mean, dude, I get it. The, the near rhyme of little rascal and asshole, like, bars, dude. Yeah, I get it. yeah, it's uh, good. I also, I gotta show you, I have a, uh, an Eminem lyric, because this reminded me. Ryan showed me this recently. This has got to be one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Um, like, I, it actually makes me wince a little bit. I have an ear infection, and I can't finger it out. I mean, I, I have you ever, have you heard that, that it, was, it wasn't a joke, I don't know what you would call it, but kids used to say that all the time. Is that really a thing? Yes. Like, when I was growing it's, up, it's it like was... It's like the Walmart thing, like... No, it Kmart was, it was, uh, I, it, but it was, I can't hear you, I have a slut ear infection. Ugh. People, dude, I don't uh, know where it came from, but I heard people back in the day uh, say that shit all the time, so it's probably a play of that. Right. It's gotta be a play on words of that. But yeah, that's, if not, that's pretty bad. Doesn't make it any but. less fun to listen to. <laughs> Thanks for that nibble on my asshole, that quick little nibble on my asshole, appreciate it. Nate Blackwell says, you'll go far on the back of a potato making french fries in the snow. This guy just loves potatoes, man. Dude. Maybe that's it's that's a, the second Dance Gavin Dance lyric about potatoes. Is it fucking... <laughs> I don't even notice that. What's going on here? Did he survive the potato famine or something and now he what? just needs to write about it? <laughs> it's about the... Yeah, he's surprised. He's an ancient bee. You gotta go far on a potato. <laughs> what if Trust a, me. Or is it like a fucking... Maybe it's a metaphor, yeah. Like no, I was gonna say, is it like a James and Giant Peach type of shit where it's a giant <laughs> it's potato a and he's flying through the air on a potato? Mm. You gotta maybe, go far, maybe, my son. Maybe it's a sick metaphor for like... You literally couldn't go far if you were on a potato. <laughs> it's just as useful as making french fries in the snow. Oh, so it's, it's sarcasm. Maybe. Or it's just John Mass being a fucking weirdo. Probably that. I feel like that's like the beauty of his things. He'll just say it and then they're like, he's like, what do you think that means? Yeah, but like... <laughs> what and then somebody think? says it and he's like, God, that's, that's what I meant for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Smelker says, this is the sound of a thousand clapping asses. Is that a Cardi B song or what is that? <laughs> it's, uh, it bro, sounds like Thunderdome. Little bro job action there. <laughs> yeah, not not super cringy, but if it is funny, <laughs> especially out of context. 
Yeah. That'd be a lot of coordination. It would be you a lot. A thousand cheeks clapping all at once. It'd be once. like one of those really like inspirational, like, yeah, we got like 5,000 drummers to play a Foo Fighters song. <laughs> yeah, but it's just butt. But we're just gonna go to the gorge and we're just gonna say, there's just a bunch of asses. <laughs> we fill the microphones. Gorge with we're gonna have like a thousand microphones all plugged into one a soundboard. Yeah. One for each ass. And we're just gonna get there and be like, let's <laughs> <laughs> clap it, baby. <clears throat> that would actually, though, make probably some history. For sure it would. Some ass coordination. For sure, and everyone would be like, I can't believe they did that. And they break like a new sound barrier. Or yes, <laughs> ass barrier. <laughs> Brown note has been achieved. <laughs> this is the uh, last one of the oh, submitted God. ones, and then I have my favorite one I'm gonna end on. Uh, Oddmund Toft says, Attila, about that life. I like a bad bitch. She fucks me all night. Then she counts my money while I'm on my PlayStation. Cause there ain't nothing more bad than, <laughs> than Fuck that playing, guy. And you playing PlayStation. Fuck that guy. I just I love the idea of like Bro's dude, this, cheesy. This bitch man. is so bad that like she lets me play Warzone all the time. <laughs> it's, like that's like a pretty normal thing, isn't it? She's just doing your finances, right? Like that's not that's not that crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Weird brag. Weird brag. Alright, Jared, you wanna hear this? This one I got for you. Yes. Okay, so it's not necessarily the worst lyric of all time, but it has not aged well. <laughs> like, given new context oh, clues no. of um, oh, what, no. what happened to Tyler Carter. Oh, you're doing, doing it to him. So, oh, like, no. He'll, you know, I'm pretty sure he had some grooming allegations of like that were a little proven I, to be true. I'm aware. Yeah. And yes, I know it's Michael Bond saying the lyrics, but like. At the time, it was literally just him and Tyler, so... That sounds like bragging about grooming, Jared. <laughs> Isn't this a cover, though? They added that part. They chose to add that section. No, it's not in the original. That was like, hey, you know what this, you know what this boyfriend Justin Bieber cover needs? I can't. I gotta go. <laughs> A reference to fucking grooming an underage fan. I gotta go. Say, bitch, I hate your boyfriend because you were underage. <laughs> Call me in a couple of years and we will fucking rage. Now I know I just admitted to grooming, but I'm gonna call you the slut. That's called gaslighting, champ. <laughs> Uh, bye! <laughs>